Both my rackets. Oh. And I broke my racket. Oh, we got so close. If you're also getting frustrated with the text, you can hit the plus button and you can, you can skip a lot of it. So when you get back in here, boom, skip the text, jump right back in. That helps. That's a little tip. That's a little, little, little time save for you. Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing some Mario Tennis Aces and we're going to be taking on the third boss, the Snow Ogre, over at the Snowfall Mountain Summit. So there's a couple of mechanics that you really want to pay attention to, and we're going to try to make this boss as easy as possible. It's still going to be fairly difficult, but once you know what to do, we can make it just a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Don't break the racket. That's the name of the game. Just, just don't break the racket. Five seconds is fine. Let one go by every now and again if you have to. tell when they're going to do a charge shot just because they are holding it for so long. Also, when the hand comes to smash you, what I like to do is I like to move forward just a little bit because what's going to happen is the hand that's serving you the ball is gonna shoot it wherever that other hand is trying to smash you. It's gonna take your last known good location. So that ends up being the way to go. Oh my gosh, I used my... So you don't wanna use your special when that happens. It's just not gonna be helpful whatsoever. Um, and it, they actually gain a little bit of their health back when that happens. So use R for your zone shot, come up, and pop him right in the eye. So once you get him in the eye, you'll notice that he's got two hearts left, and now we're going to be jumping over the ice cubes again. And then we build up that special meter, which is nice. See, when he comes in to smash, all you have to do is move forward or backwards just a little bit. And it makes it a little bit harder to time those, so make sure you use your zone time as much as possible. Shot, hit the first hand, hit the zone shot again, hit the first hand again, hit the zone shot, hit the hand right in the eye. There we go. Now we just gotta do it one more time. Let's dodge the ice again. And even if you don't dodge the ice perfectly, you lose a little bit of time, but that's okay. I feel like time is not the, the enemy of this this level. Really, it's just trying not to get your racket through. And so using that zone time and hitting the block right when you're right in the center of the light. Wait for the center of the light. We're waiting for the ball. Oh, that's okay. Again, I'd rather just not break my racket, especially when it's this far in. 
Remember zone time. And right in that center. Boom, just like that. Especially when you can't see. That helps out a lot. If you used up all of your energy and you're worried about not being able to uh, to time it right, let it go by. It's fine. It's not. It's five seconds. It's not a big deal. Don't lose your rackets. That's what the name of the game is. Don't lose your rackets. Go. Oh. Why did? Oh, I wasn't. I didn't have enough uh, power. So that's the other thing is you do have to know how to block enough to be able to get some power, right? Because if you use up all of your energy using the the zone shot or the zone time, then you're not gonna have enough energy to finish the boss off. So just be mindful of that. So now we're trying to just dodge him. There we go. And just like that, we finish the ice boss. The third boss is done. I hope that this tutorial helped you even just a little bit. Do me a favor and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a bunch more Mario Tennis Aces tips and tricks here in the very near future. Again, my name is Relia, and I hope to talk to you again more soon. Woo! That took a couple of tries, but we did it. All right. Woo. That was harder than I thought it was going to be.